It's so weird that you can see my fire extinguisher there. Hi. Sorry if I'm low energy in this video. It's like really, it's not super late, but I came back from a really long day that I'm not very happy with. And also I filmed this already, but I hate the way the footage came out. As usual, what is new on this channel? And I was rambling too much, so we're just gonna cut it down today because today we're gonna be talking about the new Pony Effect stuff. I joke around saying that I'm the only one that talks about Pony Effect. I'm not the only one that talks about Pony Effect, but it's just, I feel like you just never really hear a lot of buzz about it. And even in Korea, I feel like, because Pony came out with that series Ponya Butake, and even if you go to the like Shikor, you can see some of the items that she uses in the show, and it'll have like a special sticker, so it like entices people to buy it. But I personally don't hear that much buzz about it, which is sad because a lot of Pony Effect products are amazing. But I don't know. Anyway, um, she came out with her holiday palette, which is quite a surprise. The Thunder palette, and actually before this palette, she did come out with uh three new liquid lipsticks in her Stay Fit Matte Lip Color line for the fall winter, whatever, and also a new eye palette in Fair Affair. This is like really bothering me that you can see that. And if I'm looking over here, it's because I got a new camera and I finally have a flip screen. So it's just much easier for me to film videos now. So if I'm always looking over here, I'm sorry. Okay, ladies, Pony Effect. Oh, let me zoom in a little bit more. Mm, is it too close? Pony Effect Thunder Palette. Now, they, this is apparently their holiday palette. I just think it's weird that they're coming out with a holiday collection in general, which is interesting. But um, I got excited and I did a thing where I literally, I think I was like at the club or something. <laughs> I wasn't really intoxicated, so I was fully sober and it was just really awkward. So I was doing the thing where I'm like half like driving to the music, half on my phone, but mostly being on my phone. And I saw a notification on the Instagram that they're coming out with this, coming out this palette. So I bought it uh, for Mimi Box and it came like the day after next. It comes in this, uh, plastic little slip thing, adorable. And then here is the palette. There are four eyeshadows, three blushes, and two contour powders and a highlighter. Apparently there's like three different themes. Eye of the Storm, Flash of Flush, and Out of the Shade. Clever. You know, the first thing I thought though when I saw this palette was Kylie Cosmetics Stormy Palette. Like the whole imagery and like the names and things. You a really good sized mirror, so it's easy to do. I like to hold it like this while I do my makeup. So it's really convenient in that sense. Really, you, you have like a whole face in here. And so when you're traveling, I guess the only other things you have to take are your base products and your eyebrow products if you use those. Oh, and also like mascara and all of that stuff. I did my foundation and concealer again. I washed my face and redid my base. So I'm looking kind of dead. So let's start putting on some color. Now, my first thought when I opened this palette was, if we're just looking at this. Contour powders, I mean, they're nothing new for Pony Effect. They did have those personal cheek, like single cheek things, like the highlighters, the blushes, contour stuff, don't exist anymore because nobody really bought them. This one is Burnout, Sandstorm, and Gleam of Hope. One of the contour colors is a little bit more ashy tone. The other is a more yellowish. I don't say there's, there's not really red in that color. Um, I guess you can use it more for like the outside of the face. And the highlighter is more of like this glowy, sort of like, because it's not super shimmery glittery. Yeah, there's more of like a natural um, highlight. I want to say highlight, I would rather just say glow. And then the blushes. Um, I want to talk about the eyeshadows in a bit, but the blushes, I will say the first thing I thought was I'm unimpressed because I feel like having a pink and then an orange and like a kind of red color is such like a standard now for a lot of these palettes. I, I wish they would have put blushes in here that were more in line with these eyeshadow colors. Now they are great everyday colors, but if you're gonna come out with like a holiday palette, like the bottom part is fine. Like everyone needs contour and highlight, I guess. But for blush, I mean something a little bit, I mean, I'm not the queen of like unique eye looks, but at least make something that would fit these, I guess. Not that they don't fit with these eyeshadow colors, it's just that they're not very like exciting. Cause honestly, if you already have colors like this, you're really just getting the palette for this, right? So I wish they would have come out with blushes in here that are a little bit more unique. They do make for great everyday colors. I mix them a lot. I tend to wear all three, honestly, in my, my sort of like three blush technique, or I guess watercolor technique. I, I like to think that I discovered it, but I realized the other day I was watching, again, a pony video. In one of her Osaka Get Ready With Me's, she did pretty much a similar technique with similar colors, so I forgot about that. So here I am, walking around like I fucking, ooh, I made like this technique. The eyeshadows. Now, I've been testing this since I got the palette, and what I've come to the conclusion is that they just don't really 
layer on top of each other. They're all shimmers. Here we have flash of light. It's kind of your standard beige. It almost, it's like an intense version of his highlight. Um, it's like a beigey, sort of glowy, shimmery um, shade. No. Twister. Um, I, I have a little bit of trouble describing this color. This is kind of like... In one light, it looks like just like shimmering brown almost, but in the light it shifts, it has like this pinky shift to it. So it's a really interesting color. There's some like pink shifts of, of flex, flex of shimmer. No, that, that would be glitter. Pink reflex in there. And I will give it to Pony Effect that they do shimmer shadows amazing. Their eyeshadow format has improved definitely over the last year or so, but um, honey, it was just very hit or miss for me with some of the shadows and palettes. I will say consistently their shimmers are and maybe except for that pastel palette. That was kind of a mess. This one is a blink of an eye. Honestly, this is kind of just... Like, if this was deeper, really. I'm having trouble thinking of words to describe colors. It reminds me of barley wheat. A shimmery barley wheat color. And I actually really tend to use this as my base shade for like nearly all the looks that I create with this palette. And then Thunderbolt which as you would expect is kind of like the golden child, just kidding, kind of like true gold in the palette. Extremely shimmery, a little bit of glitter in there, but I wanted, I still think it leans more shimmery, but definitely more shiny than the other ones. Now, I don't think the finger swatches do these justice, but what I noticed, and which is what I'm actually gonna to try today, um, regular primers, they, they help it, them last longer, but they almost kind of dull down the shimmery and shininess of the shades. Yeah, today I'm actually going to be using a glitter primer. I normally use maybe MAC uh, Paint Pot or my regular Smashbox 24-hour primer, but I noticed even on my hand, and I'll show you right here, using this glitter primer underneath actually makes them the shimmer more intense. I don't know why. What they claim is that you can use this as a base shade, and honestly, this makes a really good base shade color. I noticed that I was having trouble creating looks from this palette because I found that when you put one shimmer down, you can't really put any other on top of it because it just doesn't show up, and honestly, with all the shimmer reflecting the, the light, it just ends up looking like one color anyway. Uh, which would be like the first color that you put. So uh, yeah, you can't layer this. When you once you, I usually use this as the base shade, and maybe I'll use this for like the inner corner. But if I try to maybe this because it's the most intense shade. If I like kind of pack it on in the center, you can kind of like get this faint hint of like a gold. But if I try to keep put packing it on, it just turns really crusty. Not crusty, but like the texture of the eyelid really peeks through or shows. It gets all wrinkly and kind of gross. And I find even if I put this as a base sh uh, shadow and try to put these on top as kind of like in the center as like um, the like pop of color or shimmer, um, again, it doesn't really shine as much because there's this underneath. I don't know, they, with all these palettes that Pony Effect comes out, they're always like, oh, create lots of different looks. But I always end up finding that it's really just like maybe one base shade and maybe one other color on top. But what I'm gonna to try to do today is actually use all four colors, and that's a bit of a stretch, especially when I think about this palette and how it's been going with my testing. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Glitter Glue. You normally use this primer with like glitters and things, cause it's very, 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 very sticky. And it's actually kind of hard to move around once it starts to set because it sets very quickly and because my eyes are hooded, I can actually kind of feel it like the skin sticking to itself, which sounds kind of gross, but I'm going to use this sort of brush right here. You can see this kind of, it's kind of like a base shadow brush, but it's actually quite almost fluffy in a way. And again, it's, it's animal hair, so it will really pick up that pigment. But the fact that it's a little bit fluffy will help me grab like the pigment and the shimmers that are in there. I'm kind of nervous because I actually haven't tried this, but we'll, we'll see what we can get. I'm gonna start with Blink of an Eye, and this isn't anything new because I, again, I tend to use this as a base shade. And then I'm gonna take Blink of an Eye. There's a little bit of fallout but I'm not really surprised. 
even though this is a shimmer and I feel really uncomfortable putting a shimmer in the crease, um, it is kind of the deepest shade in there. Deepest. You know, you really aren't going to see this because of the shape of my eye. It's just going to look like a natural shadow. It's not until I like, uh, right there that you see that, I don't know. And then I'm going to take flash of light here and use that on the uh, inner corner because that's where I feel like you can really only use it. Then I'm going to take Thunderbolt. That's pretty. And then one more time I'm going to take this shade and just like right here. Pat that. The first color we used, I'm going to place that on uh, underneath here. So there's my attempt at using all the colors. I applied some liquid liner and mascara. Actually the liquid liner is the Pony Effect brush one, which is actually a really good eyeliner if you're into brush eyeliners. Really pigmented and the, the line's actually a really nice matte finish. The only thing I don't like is on this part. There's just so much product gunked up on there. If your lashes are long like mine, they get on there and it can create kind of a mess, so you have to be careful. And I did blend out the line a little bit with the brown that's in this eyeshadow palette because I just didn't want it to be too sharp. I don't know if I like this eye look though. It's not bad, but whenever I do any eye looks with this palette, I just think, I mean, it's not bad, but it's like not my favorite. I'm probably the most satisfied with this palette when I only use one color all over my lid. That sort of look. But because of all the shimmer, I feel like my face is looking a little bit like chick chick -ke? Like kind of muddy looking in a way. So I'm going to use um, powder foundation. Now I forgot to do this at the beginning. I don't know why I skipped this. Um, I'm going to use the powders to contour my face. I mean, I have nothing bad to say about the contour powders. So I like them. The contour colors are really good. They're not too red. I mean, at least this one. This is a proper contour uh, color. This is a good color for uh, kind of warming up the side of the face. Reminds me of the colors that are in the uh, Too Cool for School Art Class by Rodan uh, highlight, uh, shading palette. But usually if I'm not, if I'm wearing blush, I don't really contour the outside of my face. So I don't really use this color because I'm usually using the blushes. And for the highlighter, um, actually when you buy this on the Media Box website, you get this highlighter brush for free. Um, it's their Pony Effect number 102 brush, their highlighting brush. And I feel that they've been doing that with a lot of their uh, products, like even this. It came with a eyeshadow brush from them. And I noticed that uh, the quality in general especially compared to when the brand first came out, their things like the packaging and the brushes are a lot better. So that's good. But I just feel like the bristles are still a little bit scratchy on this one. And again, you get like a cute little, oh, like glow, but it's like not anything to write home about. There is a slight pink hue to it, but it's not like unwearable for me at least. Most of their highlighters seem to act like this, like be this formula. Their Illuminator palette though is super high shine. So if you want something from Pony, a highlighter from Pony Effect that will give you that shine, I would go for the Illuminating palette. Not bad. Now the blushes, I already told you how I feel about them. They're like eh. Like the colors at least, like the, the, the formula is fine. There's nothing bad, they're pigmented. Um, they're easy to blend out, but I don't really, I'm, I'm not really tintillated by these blush colors. I'm um, gonna use the orange one here because I don't know which ones go with this eye look to be honest with you. And then just a pop of the red one. Uh, what is it called? Just before. The other, one, the other one was called Still Horizon. Giving you a little bit of that Christmas elf realness. Alright, so there's the palette. Um, 
I don't know what to say. With really deep set like hooded lids like mine, it makes no sense for me to be using this amount of shimmer. With me, you really just see like either a highlight or like shadow, if that makes sense. Because here, the deep crease, that's just a shadow. My eye is really round, so right here, it's just the highlight. So you don't really see much color going on unless I do this. And I'm not walking around doing this, so. The face powders, they're fine. Um, nothing bad to report there. As like an everyday palette, I think it's fine. You just don't expect to get very many looks out of it. It's more of like a one and done sort of thing where I feel like at least just one shade and then eyeshadow and eyeliner, which is a really pretty look. But if you try to layer things, it just doesn't really work out. And technically, again, you can use this as a base shade. Anything, you can use any of these as a base shade. But uh, actually, I think it would be really pretty if you use this pink as a base shade and one of these to kind of give color. But um, now quickly, just to touch on this palette, the new Conceptual Eyes Quad in Fair Affair. Um, I can't really compare it to the eyeshadows in here because they're, it's kind of like a different formula. Um, you get this sort of like glowy highlight shade. The two matte shades in here, beautiful. Super pigmented, sorry, really smooth. I didn't dip back in, I just kind of like smoothed it out. The dark brown in here, probably one of their best mattes. Oh shit, I didn't show you that, sorry. Too late now. Really creamy, smooth, really high color payoff. The shimmer in this is freaking amazing. It kind of gives you that wet eyelid look. So pretty. I would use this all over the eye as kind of like umyeong, like contour or shading the eye. Then this on the center of the lid, so pretty. And then kind of use this kind of, not necessarily for definition, but maybe like uh, making like a sort of soft eye line. If you're looking for like a very quick, easy, neutral, pigmented, smooth, whatever palette, this um, is quite nice. It is more on the cool tone side though, so do be careful with that. I tend to lean more towards warm colors or rosy colors. On my eyes, it can look a little bit cold and tiring, but um, if I use it in that specific way, then it looks fine. Now on to their three new um, Stay Fit, what are these called? Stay Fit Matte Lip Colors. Came out with three really, what I like to call like juicy but muted colors for the fall winter. Should I just swatch these on my lips? Let me do that. This one is called Come Hither. Oh wait, let me put concealer on my lips. Now what I tend to do is apply a little bit here and taking a brush like this, stamping it. It's not a pretty color on me. I just find that doing it this way creates a softer look. Not exactly a shade I would wear. I see this more of like a base color. I don't know if they changed the formula on these, but these feel really, uh, like they're very, very matte, but they almost have like this kind of cushiony feeling about them that makes them a little bit more bearable on the lips. You are like me though, where your lips quickly become like prunes and like it like wrinkles up really quick. Um, do keep that in mind. I know some people don't really care as long as the lip color is there and it will be there. For me though, when you start to see, um, I try to keep it as natural. That's why I really use a lot of glosses and tints is because it's just the most natural looking on my lips. When it starts to, um, get all dry and like wrinkly around here with the matte lip color on top, it becomes really, really obvious. This one is fascinating. This eye look, it makes a really pretty fall makeup look. Come Hither has a lot more white in it. So as you saw, I layered it twice. This one I didn't have to. It just looks fine with one coat, even though, even if it's all blended out. And then we have Stop Staring, which I didn't think I would really like because it's more of like a too cool tone color. But with this eye look, it actually, I think it would look really nice. It's kind of like a berry shade. Great for the fall. But it has a sort of like dry rose nukeem about it. So it's quite wearable. All right, so uh, what do we think? It's just like, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say you don't really need this palette um, unless you're a fan of Pony Effect. The fact that you have contour, highlight, blush in there, I think makes it great for travel. Um, but the eyeshadows, maybe if you're into just like that shimmery, 
shit, which can be, again, I, I like that story. I've been into that look lately. But if you think of it in the sense of like eyeshadows where you kind of just pick one, maybe you can layer this one gold because it is the strongest pigment, strongest um, shimmer in there. So you can kind of layer it in the middle. But overall, I can't really like, I'm not even happy with the look they did today. I think it suits more for that sort of like one eyeshadow look. If we're just talking about this, again, you can mix it with all these other stuff. But if we're just talking about the, just the eyeshadows, this palette, um, I'm I'm not exactly like oh, go out there go out there and buy this. That's that's not me. So hopefully you can make a decision on whether to buy this or not based on what you saw today. The eye palette and the lipsticks I already told you how I felt about them. So uh, yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, I'm, I'm so hungry. Um, and also I found so I randomly came across this neighbor article with this guy on there, Hyunjin from Stray Kids, and I have to say I'm like in love. And I even posted about it on Insta Story, but I was like, I could already tell the, the, the I guess they're called Stay, their fandom. All the, hmm, oh great, now he's all moving over to the whole, we don't fucking need him. Sorry to tell you, but there's a new bitch in town. I'm just kidding. I'm only now getting into the music, so, um, yeah, don't worry. I'm still Stan Monster X, one huh will always be my number one, so, yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. I haven't done that in a while.